everybody. Today I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be reading a book called Bugs Bunny and the Pink Flamingos. So I hope you enjoy me reading Bugs Bunny and the Pink Flamingos. Bugs Bunny was walking down the street, eating a carrot and singing a song. Springtime is here. He sang, the birds are chirping, the flowers are blooming, hi bugs, sent a voice. It was Elmer Fudd. What's up, Doc? Bugs asked Elmer. Getting your vegetable garden ready for spring? Elmer sighed. The birds keep eating up all the seeds. That's a shame, said Bugs. Just then, along came some of their friends. Daffy pushing a heavy lawnmower. Shouldn't you be doing that on the grass? Asked Bugs. I just got it fixed at the repair shop, said Daffy. Now I have to go home and mow the lawn. I hate that job. I've got to plant those petunias, said Porky. They're my favorite flower, he added, smiling at Petunia, Pig. But all of that bending over wears me out. I hate to say it, pal, said Bugs. But if you exercise more, you bend over better. Well, I've got to get going, said Petunia. My fence needs painting. She looked at Bugs. You're lucky you live in a rabbit hole, she said. You don't have to, you don't have spring chores, right? Said Porky and Daffy. Listen, said Bugs. I have an idea. I can use a little pocket money. I'll go into the gardening business and do all your spring chores for you. What do you say? I say yes, said Petunia. Me too, said Daffy and Porky. What about you, Elmer? Asked Bugs. No thanks, Bugs, said Elmer. I love taking care of my vegetable garden. Next morning, Bugs started his gardening business. He planted Porky's flowers and he watered them every day. He painted Petunia's fence and he took care of Kathy's lawn. You're doing such a great job, Bugs, said Petunia. You really, have a good, you really have a green thumb. My grass never looked better, said Daffy. I wish I could say the same for my vegetable garden, said Elmer. The birds are eating the seeds as fast as I plant them. Our picnics won't be the same without Elmer's corn on the cob, said Porky with a sigh. More carrots, said Bugs. Don't forget about the carrots. That afternoon, Bugs saw a sign outside the hardware store. Wow, he said, running inside. The plastic peak flamingos. Give me, an, give me an idea. How many flamingos are left? Bug asked. Twenty, said the storekeeper. No, said the shoekeeper. Perfect, said Bugs. Five for Daffy, five for Porky, five for Petunia, and five for me. He paid the bird. He paid for the birds and dashed to the door. I'll be right back for them. In a few minutes, Bugs was back. Bugs was back with Porky, Petunia, and Daffy. Here, said Bugs. Piling five flamingos into Daffy arms. I want to carry a few I want you to carry a few things for me. Hold out your arms, Porky said Bugs. Five flamingos for you. And Petunia, he added. Five for you. Aren't you going to carry some? Bugs asked. Of course, said Bugs. Five for me. And I'll lead the way. Follow me, said Bugs. It's only a few blocks from here. A few blocks? Going Porky? I don't think I can carry all this. Sure you can, said Bugs. We'll be there for you. We'll be there before you know it. Watch out, Daffy, said Petunia. You're por you are poking me. Sorry, said Daffy, dropping a flamingo. Porky bumped into Daffy and more flamingos and more flamingos fell to the sidewalk. Don't worry, said Bugs. It won't be long now. Bugs stopped in front of Elmer's house. Hi, said Elmer. What are you doing with all those pink flamingos? A good question, said Porky. No time for talk, said Bugs. Follow me. They lugged the birds behind Elmer's house. Start, st start sticking all the flamingos all over Elmer's vegetable garden, said Bugs. When they were finished, Elmer looked at his yard. This is pretty strange, he said. Now, said Bugs, let's hide behind that tree.
As soon as they were out of the sight, they heard a loud chirping sound. Here they come, cried Elmer. Those awful birds are going to eat the seeds. As soon as the birds saw the flamingos, they squawked in surprise and flew away. They've, they've gone, said Elmer. Pink flamingo scared them. Exactly what I thought would happen, said Bugs. Bugs said, Bugs, said Elmer. I don't know how to thank you. You saved my vegetable garden. Now we'll have corn on the cob for our picnics, said Porky. And carrots, said Bugs. Don't ever forget the carrots. Well, there you go. That was Bugs Bunny and Pimpin' the Pink Flamingos. Hope you enjoy, enjoyed Bugs Bunny and the Pink Flamingos. And also, I wanted to show you one thing. My, bug, my Bugs Bunny. I think he's in a ranger suit. Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny in a ranger suit. Well, there you have it. Hope you enjoy. See ya.